Trey got parking meter ninja. No. All the homies. All the homies. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Thank you. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> you have a great morning. Thank you. Thank you. It's your boy Robert Courtney. Let's build for a minute. Listen. I want to answer as many questions as I can in 60 seconds or less. Let's go. Should I pay $100 to get a brand new logo made for my company? You could pay $100 for a logo. However, it's based on your budget and if you can afford it. Do you need it? No. You could use apps like Canva, PhotoGrid, PixArt. There's tons of apps that allow you to create logos for a really low cost. Additionally, a logo nowadays is not as important as showing your face and showing your personality. So leverage social so people can get to know more about who you are and what your brand stands for versus a simple image. What if I don't want my face to be the face of the brand? If you don't want your face to be the face of the brand, then if you have a team, you could use your team. If you have clients you interact with, you can show interactions. You could also show educational tips, which would be content around words and slideshows. So there's several ways to build your brand and still deliver great content without actually showing your face. I, I've, I've been perfecting this for over a decade. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I reached out to you because uh, I know you guys are, are looking, always looking for cool, interesting ideas. And we launched this. I'm thinking like I just seen Ty and for some reason like it triggered Tony in my brain. We do cuss like kind of change the format and make those like 30 minute interviews to just make sure we can fit our commitment to them and uh, I was thinking like we can have a day like maybe it's the second the second Wednesday each month or something like that we feature they're gonna put us in all three magazines and then I'm trying to get them to do like a full page ad so it'll be like you guys is like even if they're not on the call at 81% open rate that means everyone's seeing it everyone's getting the information 
and we're just grooming I use constant contact so it's already been a very exciting day especially for the RPR podcast we've made a ton of connections today um, a lot of activity and that's exciting because no one really understands how the RPR podcast is going to take um, real estate in Michigan to another level and so um, watching that unfold is cool um, getting ready to go and have this conversation with um, the Pistons at the Pistons Performance Center, a potential partnership between Detroit Means Business and uh, the Pistons to host their big event on May 6th um, for small business owners all around the state. Or actually, no, for small business owners based out of Detroit. Um, but it'll be really good for the state's economy, so let's put it that way. But anyway... It's always fun creating content, always fun um, showing you what happens behind the scenes, and uh, my story lives here, so another good Tuesday in the books. I'll see you guys in a second. You gotta pay for parking, because if you don't, no matter where you are, the parking people will find you, like they're ninjas. <laughs> Detroit got parking meter ninjas. I think it might be the worst in the country as well. Unfortunately, there was some miscommunication and our partners wasn't able to make the walkthrough. And so we have to reschedule with the Pistons and the Performance Center. Um, I honestly don't think it's the right fit anyway, so maybe we saved him some time. Um, but I want to maintain the relationship. It's obviously it's the Pistons, so it's an incredible relationship and I wouldn't want to do anything to make them feel uncomfortable about doing business with us so we'll follow up with this meanwhile we'll probably move forward with the Cambria we gotta work out some details but uh it is to be continued so it looks like we got the details for using the Cambria for the Detroit Means business event and um, I'm just looking at this and trying to review it to figure out if the Cambria will make sense for the event. 
So, two, four, five, fifty six, eleven, ten, eighty eight per person, two hundred thirty. No, twenty. There are discounts we can offer you at your food and beverages at least, but you will be contracted to this food and beverage minimum. Sometimes with events like this, people who are just in place to do their job don't necessarily understand the bigger impact and why making the event work is actually a better move to ensure awareness, future events, a long-term relationship, like all the other factors involved. And so that's why a partner like RCA comes in handy because if this was just a standard contract that was being reviewed and then decided on, it would be a hard pass. But because our experienced eye understands that there's a lot that isn't being accounted for I got to take the extra steps to get this contract where it needs to be so this event can definitely happen here so this is where the work begins all right it's your boy Robert Courtney and this is Bill it's your boy Robert Courtney and let's build for a minute oh, yes. okay I'm, sorry. I'm gonna finish it more bad it's your boy Robert Courtney let's build for a minute listen I'm gonna answer as many questions as I can it's your boy Robert Courtney. Listen. No, I'm sorry. Oh my God. You have a great morning. Thank you. Thank you.